Hello, and welcome to the Daily Reflections from Christchurch. My name is Mike Lawton, and it's my pleasure to bring you a thought for today. A few days ago, I was sent a lovely song, which I found beautiful, not only because it's one of my favourites, but the words are good and the music was good. It was called, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. And it was by Alan Jackson. Now you can find that by looking up on Google, type in what a friend we have in Jesus, Alan Jackson, and play it. I believe it will bless you too. But the background to this is that it talks about taking everything to God in prayer. Now Jesus came to fulfill the Old Testament the old will, if you like, and there's a new will now, a new testament. The old will was rather difficult to actually um, establish because it based upon you following the law, and human beings found that was very difficult, hardly possible, and it took the Son of God to fulfill that. The New Testament is different because whilst the Old Testament was really for the Jewish people and not for you and I, the New Testament was for everybody. And not only that, but it relies upon us coming to Jesus and Jesus will change our hearts and he'll put desires in our hearts, which are to seek him. There are many, many promises in the New Testament as well for our daily lives because Jesus understood that we are in a world that has full of worries and concerns. You just have to listen to the news just to hear all about those. But many people are very worried about things. Jesus made a promise and he said this, come unto me all those who travail and heavy laden and I will give you rest. There are many personal things in the New Testament which are wonderful to come to. And there are many songs about it. There is another one called Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. But the one I want to think about now is, is this one. And that is what a friend we have in Jesus. Now, there's another verse I'd like to bring to your attention. And it was one that I, I used years ago for my children because they were frightened of the dark. And I taught them where God said in the Old Testament, fear not, I will help you. And they took that on board. And you know, over a period of about a month, they started to not fear the dark. It was no longer necessary to have a, a night light. But the one I want to bring to your attention now is somewhat different. And it is from Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven. Do not be anxious about anything but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Don't we need that today? When we listen to all the things that I mentioned earlier in the news, we think, oh my goodness, what is going on? It is not a sin to have worry. It's quite a natural thing. But the way we overcome our worries is to come to Jesus. So I'm going to leave that song with you. What a friend we have in Jesus, Alan Jackson. Do look it up and listen. I believe you will be blessed too. Shall we pray? Lord, in this day and age and in these times, it seems that everything we hear on the news, there's a negative, there's a worry, a concern, whether it's to do with heating, whether it's to do with food, whether it's to do with the wars, whether it's to do with jobs, everything, Lord, is a concern. But Jesus, you knew the world that we live in and you know it better than we do. And you give that promise that we can come to you and you will not only help us in it, but you will overcome our worries and you will make it possible for us to rejoice in you. And you'll make it possible for us to reach out to others and support them too. We thank you truly for this, Lord.
God bless you.